The RV industry is in the middle of a major production slowdown, even as one of its biggest players offers a more bullish view on future prospects. Canadian wildfires are causing havoc across North America, Lippert has found a way to put solar panels on an awning, and Apple Watches are about to get some new exciting hiking features. It's time for the latest in RV and camping news. I'm Jason Epperson. Welcome to RV Miles, where we talk about all things RV and camping and bring you the latest news and info you need to know about. The RV Industry Association's recent forecast anticipates a significant reduction in unit shipments for 2023, marking the industry's lowest output since 2012. It's easy to think of the boom in RV sales over the last few years as an anomaly, and it is, but RV sales have been dramatically increasing over the past decade, ever since the industry's collapse in the wake of the Great Recession. This year, they're reverting back to numbers that were more normal 20 years ago than they were 10. RV wholesale shipments are projected to be in the 300,000 unit range by the end of 2023, half of how many were shipped in 2021. However, not all stakeholders in the industry share this outlook. Thor Industries, the largest overall RV manufacturer, remains bullish about the 2023 outlook, expecting around 350,000 to be built. Thor anticipates a growing demand for RVs and expects this to translate into robust sales and growth for the company. Thor's optimism might be rooted in the continued interest in outdoor recreation, a trend that grew considerably during the COVID-19 pandemic as people sought safer travel alternatives and new ways to socially distance. As many consumers continue to work remotely and prioritize flexible travel options, RVs might retain their appeal a little bit longer than expected. The discrepancies between these forecasts highlight the inherent unpredictability of the current market and the differing strategies of industry players. Regardless of the outlook, though, one thing is certain. The RV industry is amidst a year of transformation. As the summer season unfolds, Canada is grappling with a wildfire situation that is not only affecting Canadians, but also their neighbors to the south. Since early May, more than 100,000 Canadians have been forced to evacuate their homes due to forest fires, and the smoke from these fires is drifting south, impacting air quality in the U.S. and even as far as Norway. Tens of millions of people in the U.S. are under air quality alerts due to the smoke from Canadian wildfires. For travelers on the road, this situation presents unique challenges. The smoke from the fires can significantly reduce visibility, making driving conditions hazardous. Moreover, the poor air quality can pose health risks, particularly for those with respiratory conditions. Travelers are advised to stay informed about the current wildfire situation and air quality levels in their area or their intended destination and along the route. Websites like AirNow provide real-time air quality data and forecasts, which can be a valuable resource for those on the road. Stay safe, stay informed, and let's hope for a swift end to this wildfire season. More in a moment, but first, this video is sponsored by RVMattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. Abby, the kids, and I have been using their mattresses in our last two RVs. We really do sleep on them and love them. We could not be happier. We're sleeping better. We were able to customize them for those two RVs. Odd sizes in the bunks, not a problem. RVMattress.com offers a 120-night sleep trial along with a 10-year warranty, and their products are completely toxin-free. They're incredibly simple to set up. We've had them shipped to campgrounds from their factory in Arizona, and even though they have springs inside them, you can still just unroll them and let them expand. RVMattress.com is offering the RV Miles community 25% off when you visit RVMattress.com slash RV Miles with the code RV Miles. That's RVMattress.com slash RV Miles with the code RV Miles, all one word, for 25% off. Our thanks to Brooklyn Betting for supporting this channel and to you for supporting our sponsors. In what they're calling a significant industry first, Lippert Components has unveiled a new RV awning that incorporates solar cells. Lippert is the largest manufacturer of RV components, everything from chassis to electronics, Despite this not actually being the first solar awning I've seen, it's still a solid idea that many have been thinking about. Awnings are an underutilized space for solar panels, but actually making them in a way that can roll up is a bit of a challenge. This product is a partnership with Renogy, a well-known name in the solar energy sector. The awning's solar cells can generate 300 watts of solar power extended and 200 watts retracted. Now you might be asking, how in the heck can it produce energy retracted? Well, take a closer look. The panels are only on the very leading inside edge of the awning, so they're hitting the sun when it's rolled up too. 
but really that's not a lot of space and is 300 watts of solar worth it for a new expensive awning when you can just put a 300 watt panel on the roof or on the ground and use it when it's windy. The Solera OG awnings, OG stands for off-grid, are slated for release this fall. Maybe when they can cover the whole thing with a thousand watts or more, I might be interested. Apple made some big announcements this past week, new computers and a new AR VR headset that nobody can afford, but tucked within that announcement were some interesting updates to the Apple Watch operating system. And for outdoor enthusiasts, the Apple Watch is about to get more interesting for hiking. With WatchOS 10, the Compass app automatically generates two new waypoints. One is your last cellular connection, which might be useful for checking messages or making a call. So if there's an emergency, you can go back to that point. It's a last emergency call waypoint that estimates where on the route you had the last connection to any available carrier's network, not just whatever your carrier is, so that an emergency call can be made. The other point on the route is the next point where you might be able to make a call. And when you prepare those routes, a new elevation view uses altimeter data, offering a three-dimensional view of saved waypoints. And starting in the U.S., Apple Maps displays a new topographic map featuring contour lines, hill shading, elevation details, and points of interest. Users can also search for nearby trails and trailheads with place cards that include detailed information like trail length, type, and difficulty. That's going to be available on Apple Maps without the watch, but Watch OS 10 should come out this fall. That's it for this week's RV and camping news. This week on the RV Miles podcast, we're talking about your campground pet peeves. You can find it on the RV Miles podcast YouTube channel or on any podcast app. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.